If you came here looking for a list of businesses to start in your area or in year, year 20XX, you've come to the wrong place. Now, if you're willing to do the work and really dig in and find out what the best business is for you to build, then you are in the right place. Now, let me tell you, this is going to take some work. I'm not going to give you the answers, but I will give you a list of questions and homework so you can discover what is the best business for you to start. Just because bookkeeping or lawn mowing or car washes are hot in your area or right now doesn't mean it's the best business for you to start. So if you're serious about finding what the best business is for you to start, stick around to the end. And if not, click off and go look at one of the many other videos out there about the best business to start. Okay, are you ready to do the work? Are you still with me? So the first question I want you to look at is, what is the change that I want to make in the world? What's important to me? What in the world is not working right now that I want to cause something different to happen? Think about that. Okay, so that's the first thing I want you to look at. What is the change you want to make in the world? Now, the next thing I want you to look at is what is it that you love to do? What is it that you sit down to do or go out in the yard to do and suddenly the entire day has passed? Maybe not the entire day, but two, three hours have completely disappeared and you, you don't know what's happened. What is that thing that you love to do? For me, it's a spreadsheet. You give me a spreadsheet, I get working on it and suddenly hours have passed. What is that thing that you really love to do? All right, do you got that? Then what is it that you are good at? And I mean so good that you are better than 75%, 85% of the people out there. You can do it quickly, you can do it efic efficiently, and you get it done. Yeah, what is it you're good at? So good at. All right. So now you want to start to look at, you know, the change that you want to make in the world, what you love to do, and what you're super good at. Is there overlap in those areas? Is there an area where all three of those come together? That is where the best business for you is. All right. So those are the questions that you need to start with. And once you've nailed down, you know, the change you want to make in the world, what it is you're super good at, and what it is you love to do, then we can begin to look at other questions. I pause because there's no reason to continue on in this video until you have that. So hit pause, do the work, and come back. Did you do the work? Welcome back. All right. So the other thing that we need to begin to look at is where can you start with that? You've identified what it is that you love. You've identified the change that you want to make in the world. You've identified uh, what you absolutely love to do. But now where do we start that business? And that's going to come down to what are the skills that you already have in that area? What are the skills that just come naturally to you? Do you have them in place? Do you need to go get more skills? Do you need to find people to come in and fill in those skills? So look at that. Look at your skill inventory. What resources do you have available to you? Now, when I say that, instantly what comes to you is money. And that might be money that you have in the bank. That might be that you are working a full-time job right now and you have some additional money that you can put into the business each month. It might be a, the credit that you have and you're able to get a loan. You might have an investor lined up. So that's all things to consider in the what is the best business for you to start. And it may go beyond money. 
Maybe you have real estate available to you. Maybe you have equipment available to you or software, hardware ready to go. Maybe it's you have a network of people that are trustworthy, that love you, that you could use to start your business. Those could all be resources. All right, so looking at the resources that you can to get started. So let's say the change that you want to make in the world is you want to provide nutritional bread to the world. All right, so you have the skills to do some basic baking. You have the, the absolute passion to do it, and you're super good at it. So where can you start? Maybe you don't have any money. Maybe you don't have access to a bakery. So maybe your starting point is uh, baking four or five, maybe 20 loaves. I don't know what you can do in your home kitchen and going to your local farmer's market each day, each week. Maybe that's where you can start. Maybe you can up the game a little bit and you have enough money to be able to rent a kitchen occasionally to do that. And you have connections to a, a local store that you could provide it to. Maybe there you could get started. Or maybe you have $250,000 in the bank, you have a location picked out, and you get started with a bakery right away. I don't know. So who am I to say whether the best business is for you to start? That is for you to take on. That is for you to figure out. All right. So, you know, there's a lot to answering the question, what is the best business to build? And I'd like to hear from you. What is it that you think is the best business for you? So leave a comment, let me know what you think the best business is. And you know, if you like, we can even contact, connect some, sorry, we can even connect somehow and we can have a 15 minute brainstorming session and figure out what the best business is for you to start. And don't just go to some list off of the internet or even go to GPG chat and get the best uh, list. Do the work. Do the thinking. This is your life. You get to create it. You get to say what the best business is for you to start. Not some list on the internet. So take the challenge, do the work, and get at it now. Sitting around waiting for the times to change, waiting for the best business to fall in your lap isn't going to happen. You are going to be the one that needs to go out there, do the work, and figure that out for yourself. So I'm excited. Maybe maybe this video is enough and you know what it is. Put that in the chat. Let me know. Let me know what actions you're going to take to start your business today. Till next time, be great.